Hey guys, it's Alex here, back with another Dave Dialogue. Today we're going to be talking about cleaning up after your frog. Now you might be thinking to yourself, Alex, haven't you already done a video like this before? Well, the truth is, I have. There's going to be a link to it in the description if you want to check it out, but that's for reptiles. There are a couple differences in tree frog maintenance and iguana maintenance that I'm going to go over here. But I'm just going to gloss over the stuff that's the same, like cleaning out a water dish or cleaning decor. There are four main things to consider when cleaning out any cage. The decor, the water dish, the mulch bed, and depending on whether your terrarium is glass or not, the outside glass. So if you can maintain all four of these things, your pet is going to be a lot happier and your cage is going to look a lot cooler. Let's start with the most important one, at least for frogs. The water dish is extremely important in keeping clean because, as you know, frogs drink through their skin and if the water is dirty, they can get a serious illness. So you want to always be cleaning this every night, at least once a day with a sponge and you make sure that you use bottled water rather than tap. If your water dish requires soap to be cleaned out effectively, make sure you wash it out very thoroughly because you don't want your frog drinking soap. Here's a quick tutorial for those who haven't seen the cleaning video. Uh, basically what you do, pour out the old water, do that, get a sponge, and do this. Congratulations, you've done it. Now fill it up with some bottled water. And you're good. Now the next most important thing is the mulch bed. Now for frogs you can use a reptile carpet instead of mulch but I personally think it ruins the aesthetic of any good cage and honestly it's kind of a hassle to wash and clean up so I just use regular coconut bark. Uh, what I do is I get the poop with the pooper scooper put it in the trash can and then every month I go through and I clear all of it out and then I replace it with new stuff. Now on to the less important things like decor. What I do for decor is, well you've probably seen it in the other video, but here's a quick tutorial of what you do for plants. But that's only for when they have like pee or poop on them. When they're just like dusty or covered in mulch, you can kind of just shake them off and you should be fine. Or you can, of course, use your mister to wash them off. That's what I do in Yulia's cage for my bigger plants. The same rule applies for these guys up here that hang down with the suction cups. I do the same thing. And for this log, I just take it completely out and I throw it in the sink, but I don't think you guys need to see another example after the last one. So, you probably understand. I don't really have a set schedule for when I clean off my decor. I kind of just clean it up whenever I notice it getting a little dirty. So, I'd probably do it like maybe once a month. Otherwise, if you do it like once a week, you just overkill All it. Alright, now onto the probably least important thing that you're going to worry about, not a lot, is the outside of the cage. Now, the outside of the cage, if you have a glass terrarium, can get really smudged pretty easily. I've got a lot of like stains and scratches on mine that I can't get out with normal washing. But my advice to you is get a wet rag or a wet sponge and just go around the outside and the inside. Don't use Windex or a chemical cleaner. That is the easiest way and the stupidest way that you could ever kill a frog is by spraying Windex on it on accident. I mean, maybe you could do that if you had a separate cage that you could put them in while you did it and then like took them out for a day. But otherwise, just wet rag it. It doesn't have to be perfect, guys. It just has to be good enough. That's what my mom always told me. Thanks, mom. All right, congratulations, guys. You finally cleaned out your frog's cage. Now you can go on living your life like a normal human being. So that's pretty much it for this video. Thanks for watching. Uh, next week's video is gonna be how to clean a normal human being's room. Uh, still working on that one, though. It's gonna require a lot of research, as you can probably tell. All right, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. See you around. What is this man doing? Look at him. Did it, should I help? What? Uh, he just jumped on it. I don't know what to do. Look at his feet. Look at this suction cup. Man, that guy's got better legs than me. Oh, and there he goes. <laughs> uh.
Uh, sleep tight, Dave. Don't look at me.